so a pause now. And here he is. Thank you very much for coming. And let's hope we can celebrate with him. 22 years old yesterday. He said he didn't notice it because he was so absorbed in the competition. Qualified, of course, in first place in his group. Three times world champion, the reigning Olympic champion, the phenomenal Alexei Yagodin. Music by Bond called Winter. toe triple toe well that's as good as any that he's performed oh, uncanny triple axle faultless Oh, just a little wrong in the air on the Lutz. He had a bit of a lean on it, dropped his head, but he's so strong and so experienced. Now watch him fly. Dazzling. I really don't think he felt any pressure at all. He's won the world title three times, Olympic champion. He probably felt, I'll come here and enjoy it and fulfill my obligation, which others might have done. And isn't he something extraordinary? We are so lucky to witness this. It was so good at one stage, the machinery looks as if it had blown up. <laughs> Oh, he's milking this crowd. Well, do, can you ever remember a World Championships that has been such a high standard after an Olympics? And doesn't that justify him coming here? He must be so tired. Emotionally, it must have been so draining the last few months. That rivalry with Pushenko must have nearly torn him apart. But he's come here, I think, uh, free of any burden and uh, produced again almost an ultimate performance. And Tatiana, very, very happy. <laughs> Her heart must have been in her mouth when he did that looks. And so must his, for that matter. Well, special, special man. Just look at this chord just takes it in his stride perfect axis good running edge into the toe loop almost nowhere to go no margin for error at all there 
Because remember when he came to Nagano when the Olympics were here in 98. And remember he was injured, he had no chance yeah. of a medal, but he still went out there, still performed. It must have been desperate for him because he looked like he was going to be the favourite. He'd won the Europeans, he was right up there, and then the injury robbed him of a chance. And isn't it ironic that he, he's back here in what will probably be his last professional performance and he's going to take the world championship yes it's just a very special time for him and of course uh, through all that was the, the problems he was having with mission at the time yes he's never really forgiven him for leaving no and still takes the credit for all his performances well, and, 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 and to a certain extent rightly so yeah but he hasn't uh, he hasn't produced this all-round package no Tatiana has definitely added yeah. to it and made him, as you say, a special man. Nikolai Morozov, who uh, works with Tatiana. But there's no doubt who's the boss is. <laughs> well, we're going to see any sixes. Come on. Yes. yes. Five, nine. Five, nine. From the Ukraine judge. Well, let's have some in the second set as yes, well. Yes, it's the second set that we want even more. Come on. Yes, oh, look at that. Wow. Five. I think those are the best set of marks maybe ever in World Championships for a single skater. I don't think I've ever seen as good marks as that. Certainly not in the short. Not in the short. Not sure even in the free, but definitely no, not in the short. No. Number one he is some way number one. And this in a phenomenal competition. The cream of the crop, and what a crop. Well, in all my time commentating, in all my time competing before that, I don't ever remember seeing the top six guys perform anything like we've seen tonight. No. I mean, we're nitpicking, there was just that one mistake with Vice on his quad, wasn't there, which, where he just touched down with the free leg. Yeah, yeah. Other than that, technically, they were nigh on perfect. You could fault it. And for entertainment value, yes. it doesn't get a lot better, does it? Just one. I feel for Jeffrey Buttle, who we were saying <laughs> had a real chance of getting in the final group. The Canadian, who was just electric, but he hasn't, because there's the final group there, with Yagodin leading the way. Alexander Aft, it's Russia first and second, America third and fifth, Honda fourth. Honda, who did so well, but could only make fourth place. There's Buttle. Seventh. It's cruel. Almost any other world championships would see him in around third or fourth after a performance like that. Maybe even better. Just looking back to Vlashenko as well. He skated a blinder. Finds himself in twelfth place. Yes, we never thought when we saw him that we'd see eight better short programs. He's ninth in the short. And twelfth overall. So those are the qualifiers. Can't wait for the free program on Thursday those, I'm afraid, who miss out. And it means of the uh, top three, in fact, I think it's the top four, whoever wins. Jagodin, Apt, Gable or Honda. Well, it's desperately close. It is, with the qualification coming into the uh, frame there, it's anyone's game out of the top it four. It's anyone's game, but uh, anyone who's seen Jagodin tonight knows that he goes in, of course, still the overwhelming favourite. 